Welcome back to Decent Coffee Every Day, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of my Gaja Classic espresso machine that I bought. And I always wondered how good of an espresso can you make if you have a, if you're on a budget, basically. So I decided to buy the Gaja Classic, and I'm going to do all the mods to it to basically make it work as as a much more expensive machine. I'm going to do the PID, I'm going to do the pressure gauge and basically all the mods that this machine has I'm going to I'm going to basically do because I do want to see what I can get from a cheap machine and if it is on par of a much more expensive machine. So yeah, stick around and this is just going to be the unboxing today in this video and yeah I'll set it up and do my first shot and see what it tastes like right out of, right out of the box have to rip it yeah see how it is these things yeah see how basically shows you that it's a new product or at least the packaging is as like from factory I would say Got some booklets, manuals, certificates, everything. First impression, it's actually a bit bigger than I thought it was. It, it looks in, in photos and pictures. That's kind of interesting. I got the white version, as you can see. Drip tray. It actually looks a lot bigger than in photos. So that's actually a good thing. A bigger drip tray. Less less uh, time you need to empty it. So yeah, here's the water tank refill. And that's just a power, just a power cord in there, and then let's see what we got here. Okay, so got a drip tray little cover. With the drip tray little cover, we have a single dose useless basket. Then got all these tamper and scoop. Okay, so pre install with the pressure basket, and that's the little pressure piece when you use the pressure basket. So I'm not going to be using the stuck baskets. I'm just going to go and use my Passato basket because I think I don't think these are worth using. And you can update the baskets relatively easily and inexpensively. So I would suggest doing that anyway for anybody that buys a machine like this. Cost the least and you do get a lot of benefit if you do switch out the baskets to either precision baskets or even better ones. So. So yeah, let's go set it up, put some water in it, turn it on, and see how it functions. Alright, first turn on. Let's see how long this thing heats up. I think you do have to flush it. I would think.
fill up the boiler. Like it's all filled up now. So let's see. Definitely going to be a major improvement to be able to see the temperature with the PID, control the flow with the dimmer mod. Also, to oh look at that! Looks like it's ready. That's I mean that's literally a minute, like minute thirty seconds. It looks like it's ready to brew very very fast I like that uh, 9 bar which is what I believe the spring is in the newer models and I'm gonna do uh, just a regular shot at 9 bar with pre-infusion first thing I noticed is the porta filters basically I, just, I wanted to see if I could use a uh, my standard decent porta filter uh, you can't because the ears are just too big even though uh, they're not in the same orientation, which you could have just moved it. It would have just the handle would have been like this at lock position, but it doesn't it doesn't fit at all because the actual ears are, as you can see, they're longer and thinner, so that won't work. So I swap my Passato into the standard Gaja porta filter, and it looks like it fits. So it is deep enough to fit the large version of the Passato high extraction yield basket. Pretty impressive how this water stream is, check it out. That's, I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm gonna do a poor man's pre-infusion with this machine before I have anything installed. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Do some temperature surf, as they call it. So I'll just let it run for a few seconds before I do the shot. I probably could heat up my cup. Yeah, that's hot. It's steaming out of there. So definitely need to do a temperature surf for now. This cup a little bit. Hope. Oh. Ah, I don't think this will fit. Guess we'll have to do. Uh, take this drip out. a bit too fine.
A lot of people say to start steaming before it says it's ready up here, but I guess I'm too late. You gotta do it ahead of time. Have your milk ready and everything else, so. But yeah. Complete failure. Ah, that's the problem. I didn't turn on steam thing, so no wonder. bit runny unfortunately first time shot but uh, acquainted with this thing it's kind of a pain as far as I can tell for now milk is a bit runny shot was a bit slow but it's okay first time for everything but let's just do some latte art see how that turns out extremely watery I didn't aerate it enough, I guess. It's just gonna be floppity flip flop. But, whatever. It is what it is. Not the worst, but definitely uh, the milk's a bit on the thin side. So yeah, I'm kind of ready to try this out and see what it tastes like. So let's take it. In. Not bad. Really smooth, actually. Impressively smooth. So this concludes our first use unboxing of my Dodge Classic Pro, uh, Evo Pro. It's the newest edition and it's got all the upgrades of the newest version. Uh, in the next few videos I'm probably going to make uh, is all the mods that I'm going to do to it. Which is going to be the dimmer switch, the pressure gauge. I'm going to do a PID install. So yeah, uh, first, first try. I mean the milk I kind of messed up on because it just I forgot to... Switch was all on the off position for two, uh, for a few seconds before I realized it. But uh, it's a bit on the thin side, which you'd expect if you didn't have the pressure at all. <laughs> so I did fix it, and I mean, it came out pretty decent. It's a little bit thin on the milk side, but overall it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good latte. Very smooth. I'm kind of kind of surprised that it came out really smooth considering the shot ran a bit slow the only thing I really noticed right off the bat is the steam wand it just kind of rotates to the side to side and it doesn't really have like it drips and it, there's no way to drip it into the drip tray which is kind of interesting interesting to me that there's no way of using the drip tray for the steam wand to drip in so that's kind of interesting, but overall, I'm pretty impressed with the fact that with the results, mm, it's delicious, surprisingly. But first impression, it is bigger than I th than it looks in in photos and videos. Uh, I mean, look at uh, look at it side by side between my decent. I mean, the Decent is a small machine, but I expected it to be, like, slightly smaller from what I've seen on, on uh, pictures and videos of it. So, yeah, stick around. I uh, hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first use of my Gaja Classic uh, Evo Pro. And uh, we'll 
get to modding it shortly. So yeah, stick around and see you in the next one.